When you have a lot of trains and a lot of drunks, uh, what happens is uh, a lot of people get hit by trains. <laughs> sometimes it's, you know, they're drunk and they fall on the way. Sometimes they've been drunk for a week and they're sad. They jump in front of it. Either way, point is, a lot of people die from drinking. It happened to me. I was on a train that hit a person. Uh, and it's just normal. Like, they don't even make a big deal of it. The train just stops and they go, ah, oh, we have a delay. Uh, there's been an accident. <laughs> and then you look outside and it's just fucking goo everywhere. You're like, god damn. Someone on the train was like, maybe it was a deer. I'm like, yeah, if the deer was wearing Puma sneakers, maybe. But it's a fucking, it's a dude. <laughs> but what I learned, what I found out after researching it, is that if you're a train conductor in England, and three different people jump in front of your train and die, you just get to retire. You get paid out for the rest of your life. <laughs> There's no way you don't think about that. There's no way that's not in the back of your mind. I'm sure the first person to jump in front of your train is probably the worst thing that ever happened. I'm sure it's horrendous, it must be awful, it probably fucks you up for weeks, you probably can't get past it. But the second one, party has gotta be like, almost there. There's no way that can't creep in your head, I'm sorry, there's no way.